It is 5.55 in the morning. You might be able to tell from the dark circles under my eyes. We are about to be picked up to head to the airport because we're heading to Coron today. We're currently in Mole Bowl and the airport is about two and a half hours away without traffic. So we're leaving very early at 6 a.m. for about a 12.30 flight, which seems very ridiculous, but that's the time they said we need to leave. Early morning start again, but let's go to Coron. It has just gone three o'clock in the afternoon. We have just arrived at our hotel in Caron. We're staying in the Funny Lion Hotel. It looks absolutely lovely. I'll give a quick room tour before we mess everything up as usual. And then I think we're going to have a look at the rooftop bar and then head to the town and grab some late lunch. Although it is gone three o'clock now. So maybe a very big late lunch that will also be dinner. So as you come in the room, we have this lovely big bed. They have left bandanas here for us. A little bag that we can keep and this lovely balloon. How cute is that? Over here we have full length mirror Jack is hiding behind me so he's not in the vlog we just dumped all our cases over here TV there some storage and then we've got this desk area <laughs> Jack's really trying to avoid the vlog take your mask off we're in the room yes yeah, so a little desk area and then you come round here it is a lovely massive room we've got another mirror we got this little safe uh, fridge area we've got flip-flops there little drink station and then in the fridge I think all of this is complimentary they've left us a a little fruit platter as well and then up here we have this very cool sink I love the theming in here it is so cool and then through here is our toilet shower area look at the size of this shower that is so high up and I've just seen we've got a hanging space there also look at this we've got a little kettle I love that is there any tea in there it looks like there's tea we're gonna have a great time <laughs> bit of a change of plan we've decided to eat the fruit platter and some leftover 7-Eleven snacks from Cebu and then we're gonna head to the town a bit later on so we're gonna chill by the pool for a couple of hours until it gets dark and then head down for dinner because it is a bit of a weird time to go and head and get food right now but we're gonna devour this first <laughs> spent the rest of the afternoon up at the rooftop jacuzzi watching the sunset and it was honestly so beautiful and they had music up there and then it was happy hour from five o'clock onwards and they started playing live music there is a pool down here but there's two rooftop jacuzzis up there that overlook Caron and it is so beautiful you might be able to hear some of the live music now it's still going on up there there's loads of people up there now it started it was just me and Jack and then it kept getting busier and busier it was great because we got in the hot tub first so we had the best view ever of the sunset we are now finally going to head into town I'm starving so I'm really excited for some food I think there's some trikes up there so we're gonna see if we can get a trike into town look at him staring at him <laughs> We're back from dinner now. We actually ended up eating in an Italian restaurant that we saw on Google. We Googled top restaurants to eat in in Caron and it came up on all the sites as the top place. It was called Al Trove. There was actually a massive queue outside so we did wait for a fair while but because of the queue we were like, this must be good, everyone is coming here. We had the loveliest meal and I just want to disclaim here, I know we haven't eaten a lot of traditional Filipino food but we are being very careful of our sensitive stomach. Tomorrow we have a full day private tour it is the Caron super ultimate tour I think the super ultimate tour includes like a mixture of a couple of tours it should be quite a long day because we want to fit in and see as much as possible we booked this tour with Calamian Islands travel and tours and it cost us 9,500 pesos including kayak rental for the day which is around 137 pounds in total the first stop of our tour was Kayangan Lake which is the most popular spot on Caron Island and definitely for good reason we climbed up to this stunning viewpoint, which is one of the typical viewpoints you see online when you Google the Philippines. And our guide took this amazing fake drone video on my phone. The lake is crystal clear fresh water and is said to be the cleanest lake in all of the Philippines. The water is so clear that you can often see down to a depth of 10 meters. So you can see all of the amazing underwater rock formations.
You might be able to see there we spotted a turtle in the water. We have had lots of luck with turtles on this trip, so definitely watch my Cebu vlog if you haven't already. Our second stop of the day was meant to be Barracuda Lake, but it was crowded with a lot of boats at the time, so instead our guide took us to Twin Peaks Coral Garden, which is a well-known snorkel location. Here the water was so clear you could see the coral from above the water, so Jack did some snorkeling while I ventured out on the kayak for the first time, and this was a lot of fun. Next we went to Twin Lagoons, which is also one of the most popular attractions in Caron. The two lagoons are separated by a really narrow cliff and you can hop between the two using the wooden steps at high tide or swim beneath the cliff at low tide. Except we were in kayaks, so despite the high tide we still attempted to slide underneath the cliff, which meant laying down as low as we could and being pushed through by a very kind tour guide. This could be one of the most beautiful locations we have ever been to and we almost couldn't believe it was real. Being surrounded by limestone cliffs felt like being an avatar. But of course it's never smooth sailing with us and as we tried to exit the lagoon the tide had gotten even higher and we were getting stuck. It's very hard because it's like totally high tide right now. It's hard. Can you lay down in the center of the kayak sir? And also you know just lay down. Then put your hands inside the kayak. Don't touch anything at the top. Okay? Uh, just close your eyes. <laughs> oh, you made it. Thank you so much. You. Welcome. <laughs> you, you saved us. Thank you. Welcome. So yeah, shout out to that lovely man who saw us struggling and helped us through. We could have been there a very long time without him. After Twin Lagoons, we headed to Balin Sasayo Reef. Very sorry if I'm pronouncing that wrong. Our amazing chef prepared and cooked our lunch on the back of the boat, which was so impressive. We chose to eat on the boat to avoid the crowds of the beach and look at this incredible feast. We definitely struggled to eat it all between the two of us, but it was delicious. We then went snorkeling in the reef, which I think is the spot that stood out for me the most. This is some of the best snorkeling I have ever done and it really just felt like an underwater world. I really don't think this GoPro footage does it justice, but you'll have to take my word for it. This was incredible. After snorkeling, we headed to chill on beautiful KYC beach for a little while before heading to Beach 91 to do some more kayaking around the rock formations and swim in the crystal clear waters. And then for our seventh and final stop of the tour, we finally headed to Barracuda Lake. This was another postcard-like destination with limestone rock formations that rise up the sides of the lake and down through the water as far as you can see. It was named after a large barracuda fish skeleton was found in it, but despite its name, there aren't actually many barracudas in the lake and we definitely didn't see any. We didn't go diving, but apparently because of the mix of fresh and salt water, there are dramatic 10 degree shifts in temperatures as you swim down. So that was the final stop of our tour, but on the way back we saw this Coron sign in the hills like the Hollywood sign and I had to capture it because I thought it was so cute. It is the next day now, our third and final day in Caron. We had the most incredible day yesterday on our super ultimate tour. We got so much done. I definitely recommend doing that tour if you're in Caron for a short time and want to get as much done as possible. There are different variations of the tours, some with fewer stops. Obviously the more stops you do, the less time you have at each stop, but that suited myself and Jack perfectly. We just want to see as much as possible. Our tour guides were amazing. They would like look at each spot in advance and see if it was overcrowded with lots of boats and then kind to change our itinerary so we went to places when they're a little less crowded so we actually ended up doing Barracuda Lake last because it was so busy at the beginning of the day and that was so much better because it's so much less crowded however it did mean there were scuba divers there so we couldn't try free diving which is like one of the famous things to try and do in Barracuda Lake because the rocks literally go down for miles but doesn't matter we got to see them from the snorkeling position anyway I definitely recommend doing a private tour if you can I know it's more expensive when there's only two of you but if there's a 
big group but you obviously split the price between more people and the treatment you get is amazing you get to pick how much time you spend at each spot rather than going by a set time slot at each place you also get a private lunch we ended up eating our lunch on the boat because the beach was super busy and let us choose between the beach and the boat we chose the boat and all of those choices you wouldn't really have if you were with a group of like 20 people so definitely recommend I do think you get what you pay for I'll leave the link to the exact tour we did in the description and if you reach out to them they send you the price and everything anyway on to today we have decided to have a chill day today we decided not to book another tour because the tours start really early and honestly we have not had a lay-in since the one day we had a semi lay-in in Boracay all of our wake-ups have been between 4 a.m no 3 45 a.m which was our whale watching day all the way to like 6 6 30 a.m so they're not really lay-in apart from that 8 20 a.m semi lay-in we had in Boracay also in addition to all the tours we've been doing we've had five flights so far and lots of early starts to get to those flights I'm not complaining I'm just kind of trying to justify that we need a bit of a rest today and if that doesn't make sense because you've just seen we've literally done one tour in Koron I should have a Cebu, Boracay, Manila and Dubai vlog up now which shows everything we've been up to in literally the last I think it's only been 12 days so it has been action-packed so so worth it the most amazing time some people think we're mad that everything's so jam-packed but we've only got so much leave from work we want to make the most of it there are other tours you can do here more relaxed boat tours to see a couple of beaches but I think they start early as well and we needed the extra sleep I think we kind of just want to be around the hotel a little bit we spent a lot of time picking out these hotels and trying to find the best possible place to stay and have hardly spent any time in the hotels we've booked because we've been out and about on tours so Jack's by the pool right now I'm going to head out there with him in a minute I think we're gonna head to the town for lunch we've already had our breakfast we've got breakfast included with the hotel and yeah we're just gonna see where the day takes us have a bit of a chill so as per usual our relaxing didn't even last a few hours we are now going to head to the town try and get some lunch and then we're gonna see if we can get a trike to the hot springs apparently they're about a 30 minute trike ride from the town so instead of coming back to the hotel we're gonna see if we can go straight there hot springs kind of counts as relaxing I think all we're gonna be doing is sitting in some really hot water <laughs> So we grabbed a trike from our hotel to the town, which is only around five to 10 minutes away, and this costs 60 pesos. We grabbed some lunch and then got another trike to the hot spring, which was a very long bumpy ride down some very dusty roads. This cost 600 pesos for a round trip and the guy waited for us outside. It then cost us 250 pesos each to enter the hot spring. Makanit hot spring is one of the very few saltwater hot springs in the world and the only one in the Philippines. The water is heated up by an underwater volcano. This was so relaxing and definitely gave us the chill day we needed. So we are now in El Nido. We got the ferry from Coron to El Nido this morning. The next vlog will be from our time in El Nido and these are our final days in the Philippines to wrap up our two week fast paced route around. 